Hello everybody, and today we're going to look at an Edison Standard Model B and have a little discussion on converting a Model A or a Model B standard from 2 minutes to play 2 and 4 minute records. And this machine here has been converted by me to play 2 minute and 4 minute records using um, a uh, gearing kit that Edison offered when the uh, four minute records came out starting in 1908 and this is what the gearing kit looks like these are the um, two minute only parts that have to be removed to install this kit and I'll discuss that if need arises I'll do a future video showing step by step how to install it but really it's fairly simple and I think you can even find some uh, the original uh, instructions for installing the kit online so those might help you but I'll give you some tips the first thing that you will have to do when installing the two and four minute gearing is to loosen up the set screw and tension screw on the end gate cup bearing for the mandrel because you will have to shift the mandrel over. Then on this side you will remove the stove bolt headed set screw which goes right here for the drive end cup bearing. The tension screw which goes on this end and the cup bearing itself which goes on this end you will replace that with the headless set screw that you see there and this knurled um, cup bearing which is extended it's quite a bit longer than the original cup bearing is On the idler gear, this is the idler here, you will install a longer um, stud pin. This is the original one. You can see this one's quite a bit longer. The original one doesn't protrude as far as this one does. And this steadies the um, mechanism, the casting here that holds the uh, extra gearing needed to accomplish the changeover. You will also remove from the main shaft the original uh, two minute only uh, drive gear that drives the uh, feed screw gearing and replace it with this um, two speed gear here which has a large gear wheel and a small gear wheel. And the um, small end of this is much smaller than the diameter of the main shaft but this end of the main shaft is pointed just like this end is so what you will do is when you remove this one you'll pull the main shaft over and install this gear on the main shaft to the right as far as it will go and tighten it up and then you will do all of your adjustments for the cone bearings and for the end shake to get the uh, end shake on the mandrel right so you don't have to lift up on it when you close the end gate with the gear in this position and this does upset the relationship with the um, the two drive pulleys a little bit but not not much I wouldn't worry about it too much unless it throws the belt in which case you might have to readjust this pulley here left or right on that shaft within the confinement of the space that you have to do that to um, get the adjustment correct Uh, the other thing that you should know about is when you go to install this, you're going to want to 
have this screw loose, have this pin loose and move it over till it's flush with the casting here and then put this on like this and then swing it down and then put it on. Uh, you won't have room to just slide it on with this gear here. And then of course the most obvious thing is the uh, gear guard and there is a four minute gear guard that goes on these. It's held in place by this screw here which looks just like one of the uh, tension screws that you remove from this end. Um, I don't have the uh, the four minute uh, gear guard yet for this machine uh, but it's just a sheet metal cover with some pinstriping on it, gold pinstriping. Um, this is the original two minute only gear guard and uh, I went ahead and chose to keep the uh, two minute screws. I keep all these parts inside the um, cabinet here. Uh, my four minute kit also had a set screw which I ended up removing. It's this little set screw right here and it was located right there and when you tightened it up it tightened this gear down to this shaft to where this whole thing had to rotate as one now there is a little uh, friction spring inside here where this slides back and forth so that this has some tension on it so that it stays where you put it whether it's in the um, uh, four minute position or the uh, the two minute position and that created a lot of drag on the uh, gearing having that there so I went ahead and just took the set screw out and put it in the little baggie I keep all the other small two minute only parts and I keep it inside the machine with um, so that I can convert it back to uh, two minute only uh, at any time I want to it does change the appearance of the machine especially once you get that gear guard on which comes down like this and then goes over and then sort of slopes back like that so it it does change the appearance of the machine a little bit but it's really nice to be able to play the um, um, four minute records and the two minute records on your um, standard so how this works is pretty simple As I said, this um, gear here with the two different size uh, gear wheels on it replaces your standard two minute only gear wheel. And then there is a sliding gear wheel here. This part of the gear wheel is the same size, has the same number of teeth as your standard two minute only uh, drive gear and it's always in mesh with this idler and this idler drives your big idler wheel that's uh, part of the standard setup and then that drives the feed skew uh, drive gear so it's the um, how this works is, is in two minute position this gear and this gear are the same size and so we have a one-to-one -one ratio and then that drives this and then even though there's two idlers here what's important is the ratio between this gear wheel and this gear wheel and that's um, two to one so in this position you still get your um, um, two to one reduction from the main shaft to the feed screw for playing a two minute record when you switch it to the four minute position like so now the ratio is two to one here and then two to one here so it's four to one and that gets you the proper gear ratio you need to play a four minute record because a two minute record has 100 grooves 
per inch, or more properly speaking, 100 threads per inch. And a 4 minute record has 200 threads per inch. A 2 minute record, the maximum playing time you can get on one is about 2 minutes and 20 seconds if you really push it at 160 RPM. A uh, 4 minute record, you can get about 4 minutes and 45 seconds pushing it somewhat. So there you have it. Those are your, um, that's an overview of the um, conversion kit. And as many people I've talked to have said, it's pretty remarkable that um, uh, Edison was able to come up with all these conversion kits for all of his two minute only machines to play the four minute records just as well as any of the new machines on the uh, market and that was something uh, that Edison did the during the whole lifetime of the cylinder record was any of the older machines could be converted to play the new records just as well or in fact sometimes better than any of the current production machines and that was something that the um, four minute gearing here allowed so, once again, we'll look at the um, parts that you will have left over from your uh, conversion. These are the um, two-minute only parts that you will remove and not use when you do the conversion. And there is the installed four-minute gearing. how it looks from this angle and turn this on here and you can see there's the two minute position so the feed screw is running at 80 revolutions a minute and in the four minute position the feed screw is now running at 40 revolutions per minute And then, of course, in, in is two minutes, and out is four minutes. And, of course, the nature of the way the uh, mechanism is made, it's easier to shift it on the fly while the machine's running than to shift it while it's uh, stationary, because you might have to rotate it a little bit to get the uh, teeth to line up so that it will... Uh, mesh. But there you go. I hope that explains that for you. Um, it's not very hard to install. Uh, pretty straightforward. If uh, demand warrants, I will make another video. I'll step by step convert it. I'll convert this machine back to two minute and I'll step by step convert it to four minute just like you see it here. So anyway, with that out of the way, I think it's time to hear a song. And I was trying to think of what what to uh, what to put on, and I had a couple different ideas, and I came up with one that would be fun here. So we're gonna listen to uh, the Crescent Trio, uh, "Whispering," which was a very popular tune. Uh, in the 20s and uh, I think this is a vocal I think the Crescent Trio was a vocal group I don't remember it's been a while since I've played this record also as you can see it needs reamed but it goes on there far enough to um, to play so here we are obviously this is not going to sound as good as the uh, Triumph Wood with the big signet horn um, oh, that's another another um, ish, uh, issue. Since this cabinet's been refinished, it's never going to be original again. And uh, I've got several Edison Standard Model Bs because I think they're neat-looking machines. 
Um, I'm going to put a signet horn set up on this. So I've got a um, another Edison standard with the script um, decal case that has a uh, front mount um, crane horn. I've got another Model B that has a banner decal, so it's an early B that is going to stay a um, witch hat horn configured machine. It doesn't have a uh, placed amount of crane. And then this machine here, since it's been cabinet's been refinished, the uh, top works has been refinished. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, drill the back, unless someone, uh, unless I find an, a uh, one that's already been drilled, a cabinet that's in nice shape that's already been drilled. But like I said, since this one here has been refinished, it's not going to be original, so I don't won't feel guilty drilling some holes in it for a signet crane bracket. I'll um, go to mount a uh, do a signet setup on it. I've got a flat top carriage too. Eventually, I'll do a um, do a Model R or a Model O reproducer on this, like what the Triumph's got, and I'll have a more compact machine with a signet horn that looks nice that'll be fun to play records on All right. Bo uh, best of both worlds anyway enough of my talking on with whispering the crescent trio <laughs> I think we skipped the intro a little bit.
All right then. Well, that was fun. All right. So if you liked the video, please comment. Uh, if you want to see a how-to on the uh, uh, two to four conversion, let me know. Uh, like I said, it's pretty simple. But um, if my explanation in this video wasn't good enough, just uh, speak up, and uh, it'll be the subject of a future video. So. This is OK Bridges, and thank you for watching.